talking Carlton with Carlton Carnivores again. We're taking some advantage of the nicer weather today to film something new outside. Some rather interesting plants have decided to bloom recently, and this is one of the biggest. This is Dracunculus vulgaris, also known as the Dragon Arum, uh, Voodoo Lily, Black Lily, and a number of other odd common names. It's a relative of the Amorphophilus genus, or the corpse flowers. And so they produce the uh, same very large multi-flowered structure that, just like the corpse flowers, this one does not smell very good. These guys are native to the Balkan Peninsula area, so Greece, uh, Turkey, Crete, that region, where they live as uh, winter-growing perennials. They die back in summer, and then they grow up in winter when it's cooler and more moist in that environment. These plants typically develop a pseudostem, as you can see here, where the actual petioles of the leaves kind of enclose each other and form a tall stalk. And then the leaves themselves, this guy's already starting to die back for uh, summer, but some of the good leaves here still, you can see, are divided into multiple leaflets that fold out into kind of a palmate shape, similar to uh, the Saromatum group, Somewhat similar to Amorphophilus, but those guys develop more of a uh, full around growth rather than the one-sided uh, branching that this uh, one does. Here's a slightly better look at the kind of one-sided curling semicircular shape of the leaves with all the leaflets coming off of one side of the petiole. And these guys, uh, they have these terribly smelly flowers to attract uh, various insects like flies and especially carrion beetles to pollinate them. And you can't see them here, but the spade and spadix here uh, attract the insects, but the flowers themselves are actually down within that uh, cavity that is in the base here. So this thickened uh, area here, the male and the female flowers will be down in there. I'm pulling back the uh, spade in these images to try and look down into that cavity. The flowers themselves are still kind of hidden within the actual cavity beneath, however. And the flowers ripen at different uh, points. Uh, the females often ripen first and the males later, so that pollinators are not likely to risk self-pollinating the plant. And they're fairly easy to grow as well. Uh, you have to be careful not to overwater them when they are dormant, of course. Uh, it's best to keep them almost completely dry, otherwise the tubers will rot in the ground. But a moist uh, soil, when they are growing, relatively well drained and very well fertilized, uh, is best for them. Again, when they die back, you let the uh, pot dry out completely, and you can actually either store the tuber out of the pot uh, dry, or it can be left in the soil as long as the soil remains uh, dry throughout the dormancy period. Uh, some people will actually grow these uh, outdoors, depending on your climate. Uh, people in Mediterranean climates especially, of course, will do very well with them outdoors. Other uh, places, they may survive uh, cool winters if they're protected from frost, and then they may actually grow during summer in those environments. But for me here, it has been a winter grower, so it is just getting ready to actually, it's flowered, and then it will soon die back and uh, stay dormant over summer. While this might be the most impressive bloom that I'll get from the Aroids this year, it's certainly not going to be the last, however. There's a few more species that you'll probably see videos of very shortly, so make sure to stay tuned in on this channel. Uh, for more videos, as well as, as things warm up, there will be more videos coming along from the herping side of the Carlton Carnivores channel, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure to uh, subscribe, and uh, if you'd like to help support uh, the production of more of these videos, uh, or if you'd like to have uh, word in on what topics we cover in the future, make sure to join in on, as a supporter on Patreon, the links will be down below, and make sure to send in contacts, uh, messages to, to us, uh, either via the comments below, or simply visit us at the website, carltoncarnivores.com. Until next time, this has been Hawk and Carlton, we'll see you then.